Assalamu alaikum students how are you all i hope that you all are doing great welcome to your channel math d1 d2 scientific academy today our lecture is related to chapter 15 which is statistical data handling your book is d1 math new syllabus math one new syllabus mathematics one i am going to explain you question number 4 of exercise 15a okay students so question number 4 is study the table and bar graph okay students so here the table is given and here different classes are given classes are 1a 1b 1c 1d and 1e and here the number of students are given who score are distinction in mathematics these are the number of students of these classes who score are distinction in mathematics and these are the number of students who got who got and who score are distinction in science and these are the classes here two values are missing you have to find out these two values and here students bar graph is given the bar graph of this table is given the bar graph of this table has been drawn over here now part a is complete the table and the bar graph so you have to complete the table and the bar graph first complete the table here class 1b number of students are missing who score a distinction in science now see the bar graph 1b here class 1b students remember that this blue color as you can see that this blue color shows the distinction of math and here distinction in math and this purple color shows the distinction in science because as you can see that here how how did i find it see these are the nine students who got a distinction in mathematics and here the blue bar has been drawn till nine so it means that blue color is showing the number of students who score a distinction in mathematics and purple bar is showing the number of students who score a distinction in science now with the help of this bar i can complete this table and with the help of the table i can complete the bar graph Now see one B students, number of students are missing who got a distinction in science. Okay, see the bar graph. Purple is showing the science distinction. So here the purple, here you can see that the purple bar is the purple bar is till thirteen. Here this is ten now, and there are five lines between ten and five. So each line stands for one centimeter. So ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. So it means that there are thirteen students who got a distinction in science. Okay, ji. Now let's come to one D. One more data is given uh, missing. One D again. The number of students are missing who score a distinction in science, and the class is one D. Now let's come to one D. And this purple bar is till here. This is fifteen, and this is sixteen. Fifteen. And sixteen. So this purple bar is still sixteen. So you write down sixteen over here. So it means that there are thirteen students who score a distinction in science of class one B, and there are sixteen students who score a distin distinction in science of class one D. Now we have to complete this bar graph as well. Now see one C. See the data one C. Here this is one C. Sixteen students. There are sixteen students who score a distinction in mathematics. So you will draw the graph till sixteen. Okay, ji. So this is how you will draw the graph. This is fifteen. The class is one C. So you will draw the graph till here. This is sixteen. Yes. So there are sixteen. Okay, you will you will color it blue. As I am not having the color, so I am just using pencil to color it. So there are sixteen students. You will draw the bar till sixteen. Here, this is fifteen. This is sixteen. There are sixteen students who score a distinction in mathematics, and there are twelve students. Now you will draw the other bar till twelve. Okay. This is ten, eleven, and twelve. So this is till twelve. You will draw the bar. And these are the number of students who score a distinction sign. This is how you have to complete the table and this bar graph. Okay, students. So now let's come to the question. All right. Now this is part A. We have done part A in which we have to complete the table and bar graph. Now let's come to part B. In part B, they are saying that find the total number of students in the five classes who score a distinction in mathematics and science. It means that we will just add up all these number for math and we will just add up all these number for science. Okay. Now let's come to the board to see it. How would we solve it? So I will add up with the classes one A nine. Okay, first you have to write down the total number of students uh, who score a distinction in mathematics. You write down total number of 
नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स Okay, so this is how you would solve it. You would write down total number of students who score a distinction in mathematics, and you have just have to add up all the numbers. In class one, there were nine students. In class one B, there were eleven. In one C, there were sixteen. In one D, there were twelve. And in one E, there were twenty. You just have to add up all the numbers, and you will get sixty-eight. In the same way, you have to add up all the numbers of number of students who score a distinction in science. So in one A, there were eight students. In one B, there were thirteen students. In one C they were twelve in one D they were sixteen and one D they were fifteen students. So when you add up all these numbers, you will get sixty four. So this is how you have to solve B part. You just have to add up all the numbers. Okay, so now let's come to C part. Okay, so C part is they are saying that. Okay, जी. C part is express the number of students who score a distinction in mathematics in class one D. Now you have to see in one D. Okay, you have to see in one D and you have to see math. So there were twelve students in math uh, who score a distinction in mathematics. Okay, in one D who score a distinction in mathematics. As the percentage of the total number of students who score a distinction in mathematics in the five classes. So we have found the total number of students. Uh, who score a distinction in mathematics in the five classes for uh, how many students were there? So we have found in part B the total number of students uh, who score a distinction in mathematics in five classes. So total number of students who score distinction in math in five classes in all five classes. So uh, how many students were there? There were. Sixty-eight. Okay, now they are asking that you have to find out the percentage of the total number of students who score a distinction in math in the five classes. Okay, express the number of students who score a distinction in math in class one D. So in class one D, see the table and it's given that class one D, the number of students who score a distinction in math were twelve. Okay, जी. Now you have to find out the percentage. Okay, the percentage is it's given in the first one that you have to express the percentage of the number of students who score a distinction in math in class one D as the total number of students who score distinction in math in all five classes. So what you will do is your numerator will be twelve because you have to express this number to this number multiply by hundred percent. Okay, when you will solve it, you will get twelve divided by sixty eight. Will be equal to three over seventeen, and when you will divide it with hundred, you will get seventeen whole eleven by seventeen. Seventeen whole eleven by seventeen percent. So this is how you have to find out the percentage. Seventeen whole eleven over seventeen percent. I am again telling you, part C was it's given in the question that express the number of students who score a distinction in math in class one D. So this will be your numerator. Two, okay, G. As the percentage of the total, as the percentage of the total number of students who score distinction in math in all five classes, so this will be your denominator. You have to multiply it with hundred to find out the percentage. Okay, students. So now let's come to part D. I hope that part C is clear to you. Now let's come to part D. Okay, students. So part D is if there are forty students in class one. Now it has been told in the question if there are forty students in class one D. Find the percentage of students in the class who score a distinction in science. So you know that the number of students who score distinction in science in class one D, number of students who score distinction in science in class one D, and the table is in front of you. So the number of students who score distinction in science in class one D are sixteen. So you have to find out the percentage. So to find out the percentage, as it's written that if there are forty students in class one D, find the percentage of students. Find the percentage of students in class one D who score a distinction in science. So they are sixteen. 
you know that the formula to find out the percentage is given number divided by total number and total number is given if there are 40 students so that would be your denominator multiply by 100 percent okay when you will divide 16 with 40 you will get 2 or 5 and when you will multiply it with 100 you will get 40 so there are 40 percent students who so there are 40 percent students in the in the class who score distinction in science if there are 40 students in that class okay so now part e is Junve correct to say that there are 35 students in class 1 e explain your answers okay so in class 1 e okay now i'm going to explain in 1 e okay the total number of students who score a distinction in maths are 20 and the number of students who score a distinction in science are 15 these are the number of students these are the number of students who score a distinction in mass and size. These are not the total number of students in that class. So they are saying that is Junve correct to say that there are 35 students in class 1 explaining your answer. So you'd say that no. Because 35 students score a distinction. You write down 35 students score a distinction. But these are not total students. Score a distinction. These are not total students. These are not total students. in that class okay Jay, so this is uh, all for today so, so i hope that uh, today's lecture is clear to you do the practice of these sums because when you will do the practice and this concept will be more clear to you take very good care of yourself thank you very much and allah hafiz